Hi, I'm Celso from Guará.ca and today we're going to take a look on the behind the scenes of creating this character who I've been calling the Muse. This story only has three characters. The writer, who you saw in another video, the Muse, who this video is about, and a creature that we're not going to get to it. But the Muse is the character that I'm struggling with the most. The writer, I had a pretty good idea of how I wanted him to look since day one. Uh, the creature, just thinking about it, I can visualize it, but the muse has always been a mystery. I know I'm not as good as I could be on 2D art, but I always try to start with a sketch, a pencil sketch. Because if I start digital, I over-render, and if I go straight to 3D, I tend to carry the first idea all the way through completion. But those sketches are not concept art, they are just vomiting ideas on paper. It's just exploring different designs without compromising. So from there, I like to put the sketches aside, forget about them, get on the iPad and start sculpting. I've been using Nomad Sculpt for the iPad for this stage, but I'm considering switching to the ZBrush for iPad for a month or two, just to really see if it's worth it. I consider this just a 3D sketch, just a blocking stage, so I try not to polish it too much and I try to keep every single element as a separate object for as long as I can. Then I merge everything except head and body and I just uh, smooth the corners a little bit so it looks more like a unique form. So I export the block as an FBX to Blender and I jump straight to topology. This method is kind of new to me. I used to really polish color and everything, the sculpt before I got into topology whatsoever. And the problem with that was similar to when you're doing a sketch and you love it and you go to ink it and it loses a little bit of the life. Uh, Topology was doing that for me before. But one day I was walking the artist alley at Toronto Comic Con and I started talking to Jason Lapidus illustrated off Group of Seven and some other really cool books. And he told me that he liked to keep the sketches loose instead of over polishing it. And instead of tracing a polished sketch, he would draw on top of a loose one. That way the, the inking would be the best the drawing ever looked. And I'm trying to replicate the energy in 3D and I really like it. So I have a pretty loose initial blocking. I do the topology and I do the final sculpt on the topology. That way my final sculpt already has the final topology and I don't have to reproject the, the details, I don't have to worry about the UVs because they're already done, I don't have to trace my model, I, the best the model ever looks is the final version. With the topology done, I bring it to ZBrush. I'm still using ZBrush 2022 because I don't want to pay for the new one. And here I really reshape my character. I start looking back at my references and my early sketches, see what I lost, what I missed, what I liked more about the early versions than I do about this one. And in this case, I did all this sculpting for the clothes and hair at this stage. The hair I already done a couple times before, but I didn't like, so uh, here we go, the hair again for the third time.
And after all that, I just put something on YouTube, sit down and relax while I do my UVs. And like I did for the writer on a previous video, I do a basic lighting using cycles, I bake that into textures, and then I start painting on top. And with the painting done, I applied the same material that I'm using for the writer. I'm gonna make another video about how I made this material, but I, I wanted to have a more final version of this before. And that's it for today. So I only have a couple more sets to build and I'm off to building the actual story. So I'm pretty excited and I hope you follow along. So see you next time.